And I'm pleased to bring in right now Newsmax senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Sir, welcome in. Huge day today for Donald Trump and, in fact, really the law and the Supreme Court. Um, I want to get your take on what we've heard so far. You know, a lot of talk was about this um, Nixon versus Fitzgerald case. It was 1982. President has absolute immunity. But there's sort of this outer perimeter that is somewhat up for discussion now. We're hearing a lot of that. Were Trump's acts non-official or official? Tell us your reaction to this particular argument and who do you think is swaying and if they are swaying the Supreme Court. Well, Nixon versus Fitzgerald involved uh, an Air Force uh, officer, a civilian employee of the Air Force, but a high-ranking one, suing President Nixon for directly ordering his firing because he was a whistleblower. And the Supreme Court said that was an official act of the presidency, and so he can't be sued for it. Here, we're not talking about a lawsuit. We are talking about a criminal prosecution. Uh, the, the court's oral arguments came down to uh, two issues, Bianca. One is, was whatever Trump did on January 6th and the days and weeks leading up to it official core functions of the presidency, or were they personal acts? Were they intended to protect the presidency and further democracy, or were they intended for some personal gain? There's no real dispute but that if they were core presidential acts, he can't be, he cannot be prosecuted for them. But if they were acts intended for personal gain or some venal or inappropriate purpose, he can be prosecuted. Now, who would decide if they were official or non-official acts? Well, the trial court would. Right. Could the judge make that determination alone? No, only a jury can make that determination. So, 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 so if you ask me what I think will happen today, I think the Supreme Court will send the case back to the trial court with specific instructions. You impanel a jury, try this case, and instruct the jury to decide if whatever the government says Trump did was official acts or non-official. If official, there is no case. If non-official, then ask the jury if it constituted a crime. Either way, that's a win for Donald Trump because it buys him more time. It delays Jack Smith's case. And in fact, while Trump is in New York, he did make comments about the Supreme Court. I do want to play what he said just a short time ago, Judge. An argument on immunity is very important. The president has to have immunity. This has nothing to do with me. This has to do with a president in the future for 100 years from now. OK, but the justices and some are saying, but no one is above the law. And, you know, Trump's attorney, I think, it has been excellent this morning and talking about how there is the impeachment process. And it's not about being above the law, but it is about having a, the person in this role, any president, to feel that they can act the duties and going back to the founding fathers here. But ultimately, how will they get over that challenge when they say no one's above the law? And if they find some of this was, um, you know, non-official acts, that sort of the rub, no? Correct, Bianca. Excellent. It, it means that even if the trial is delayed, there will be a trial, unless, of course, he gets elected and, and instructs his, uh, his attorney general to dismiss the case. We'll put that out, outside of our conversation because that has to do with politics and the national election sure, yes. in November. But in terms of what the court is deciding today, Donald Trump is right. This is not just about him. It's about the presidency for all time, because this issue has never been resolved. But it's clear to me that there is no absolute, total, complete immunity for everything. Even the conservative justices conceded that. That's why I think it's going to come down to this uh, question of fact. Was the behavior that he allegedly committed, which supposedly was criminal, official core functions of the presidency or things he did on his own to keep himself in office. Jack Smith was smart enough to craft the indictment so that it could be interpreted either way.